What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of FKN Deliciousness, and today we are at Passion Street Brewery yet again. Thank you to my sponsorship, Passion Street Brewery. Just kidding. We are with the tap room manager. Jay. Jay. Just J-A-Y or? J-A-Y. Just J-A-Y. 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 Yes. And uh, we're going to be eating uh, Pad Thai. We're going to eat... Um, the char siu fried rice. Char siu fried rice. We're going to be eating... The seasoned salad and the tomahawk. Caesar salad, and I'm gonna try to finish a tomahawk steak before this episode ends. Thank God we go long. Thank God we go 40 minutes. But there's one more thing we're gonna do on this episode. We're gonna do it bilingual. bilingual. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in Vietnamese and English. I'm gonna ask the question in Vietnamese, then I'm gonna translate it in English, and then when Jay answers it in Vietnamese, I'm gonna try to uh, answer or translate her question in English so that it's fun. Or you might want to do it in English and I'll, I'll translate it in Vietnamese. Either way, we have a lot of beer. Sure. All Drinks Considered is about, yeah. or is a show about, I haven't started drinking yet, is a show about uh, uh, beer and wine and spirits and all things uh, alcoholic. No, we'll have some coffee on there. But coffee. coffee can be alcoholic. Have you ever put whiskey in, in coffee? Uh, never tried before. Oh, you yeah. should try if you have your beer, pull your beer out right now. We're going to finish our first beer. You should be finishing your first beer. Oh. And what is this first beer? Uh, so this is the Hem Hem IPA. Okay. So it's the collaboration between the SPC and the Hem Hem Saigon. Hem Hem Saigon. Or yeah. Hem Hem Saigon. Okay. So what is Hem Hem Saigon? But who haven't known yet, so Hem Hem Saigon is the Japanese rock band. Okay. And uh, they really face much uh, with the song name is No Race, No Life. No Race, No, no Life. No Rice, No, no life. Rice. Yeah. No Race, No Life. Rice. Rice. Yeah. Okay. Go gal. Yeah. So, and, and then is it race like they're, they're running racing or is it like race as the color of our skin? I mean, rice. No, no Rice. No Rice. No Life. No Rice, No Life. Hong Kong. Hong Kong gal. Hong Kong gal. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Wow. <laughs> so, this beer also, aka the no rice, no life beer, because we the star of the beer is rice. Oh, it's a rice based beer. Yeah. Whereas most beers are made with barley and hops, right? Yeah. Okay, finish yours. Mm. So, we haven't shot a, an, an afternoon video yet uh, in this series, and so we're going to get really drunk. It is now 1 20 p.m. Are you working today? Come make a lamb. No. Um, really? Okay. They say that the better, the more drunk I am, the better my Vietnamese is. No, they don't say that. Okay, let's start with the first dish. One, two, three. Okay. What is the first? Oh, cái món đầu tiên là cái gì, Jay? What is the first dish, Jay? Uh, so it's pad thai. Okay. What kind of pad thai? So uh, just the classic pad thai with the chicken. With chicken, yes, that's right. Chicken yeah. pad thai, and you have uh, breast meat. You have Roasted peanuts, you have uh, uh, Thai chili, and the squeeze of lime. Okay, can you squeeze the lime onto the pad thai? And, oh, and, back the, get out of home. and then we'll start, yes, right on top. Are your hands clean? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start off with this. I'm not gonna eat so much because I gotta try to eat the tomahawk. But okay, J-I-J. Calvin, go back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a few questions. Uh, okay. Oh my God, this is what's that? What is this word in Vietnamese? Uh, unique, like a unique, la. Một không hai. Một Okay. Cái gì một không hai về beer at Passage Street? What is unique about your beer at Passage Street Brewery? Why well, I, I eat this? Don't worry, I only have 40 minutes on this show. Maybe about the... Um... Sao mày không ăn đây? Mày ăn đi? This is like my little son. This is father and son time. <laughs> Hurry up and eat, motherfucker. Um, what, is, what is unique? What, what, you, what, come high, get beer. what is unique about your beers? I, I'll tell you what I like about the beers. Because like... I think because the like, unique... Is we use the special ingredient. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> mm. Mm. 
That was really good at that time. Um, you know, Pastor Street was born in Vietnam. Yeah. And they've always focused on how to tell the story of the local market. Yes, they do import uh, their hops. Sure. Yes, they do import their barley and their malt. Yes, because they want really high quality ingredients. But they always try to uh, incorporate uh, flavors, drinking styles, because in Vietnam it's really hot. So you're not looking for like a super heavy Sessions IPA, something that's more lighter, some, something that's more and, and then it's not just one beer, it's a melody of beers. And so they've always thought about who's drinking the beer here in Saigon, or in Hanoi, or in Da Nang, or wherever. And they brew for the customer. They're not trying to brew and say, oh, I'm the very best. They're honestly brewing beer. And that's why I've always loved about Pastor Street Brewery, um, is that they, they really try to think about beer. Now, what is this? Uh, oh, that's how we You better bottoms up. Okay, let me bring bottoms it. up. Here we go. I'll wait until, until my. And, hey, what's going on? I'm filming right now. Come on, say hi. Mm. So this is the Palmelo IPA. An IPA has very strong characteristics. So when you when you add in Palmelo and Palmelo fruit and Palmelo rind, you all you get a really interesting citrus based beer. Yes. What's up, dude? How's it going? You say hi, everybody. You want to say hi, Ray? What's up? It's my boy Craig. Say hi. That looks awesome. Well, you should come by for lunch. Oh, nice. Can I take that for the road? No, you can get for the road. See ya. Another thing I love about Saigon is that when you see people just randomly on the street, you know them. They're so friendly yes. in saying, hey, come on over, let's talk, let's chat, right? So, pomelo is a citrus-based fruit, similar to the grapefruit, right? And it's kind of the same family. And when I drink this, I really taste the rind. I really taste the, the rind. And pomelo isn't as sweet or as sour as the grapefruit. It is a very well balanced uh, fruit. So, here. Thank you, Shep. Okay, here we go. Continue on. JIJ. Craft beer with Dan Guam. What was your first craft beer? Well, you do that, I'm going to eat some. Craft beer we brew or? The first thing you had a. You had a craft beer. The first one I tried. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess it, mm. the Chimay. Chimay? Yeah. Yeah. Tell a story. Because like mm. when it was in high school, so my first job is working for the um, craft beer store. Mm -hmm. So they have like a needed to a hundred of imported beer mm. from German and Belgium. Okay. So. I have a chance to try many different be craft beer from the world. Do you know in America you have to be 21 years old to drink beer? And you're under 18, you're still no, in high school? high school, so I'm, I guess 18. I guess 18? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this Caesar salad, right? Uh, the Sea Sam salad. Sea Sam? Yeah. Oh, because you don't use uh, romaine, you don't use romaine lettuce, you use ro uh, what, watercress? Watercress, yeah. Watercress, yeah. I think that, yeah. Uh, uh, select song. Select song. You select song in there. And I'll, I'll turn that camera around real quick and I'll show you guys what it is. Watercress is not a green that is used often. And then the cherry tomatoes, you can be, you guys roast them to get that super sweetness. And what, what else is in there? Is that mushroom? Also the cream mushroom. Ooh, king mushroom. And a little crumpet on top. Crouton. Alright. Okay. Continue on. So that was your first bit. First Chimay. Was it Chimay red or Chimay blue? Uh, blue one. Blue and one. And then to the, uh, the yellow one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love Pad Thai. I love everything about Pad Thai. I love the sweetness, the, the sourness, the savoriness. Mmm, I love it. Okay. The tail. Continue on. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. If you're at home drinking beer, 
Yo. <laughs> okay. What? What? Oh. What is the funniest or craziest beer-related story you have? The story? Yeah. What is the funniest, funniest or craziest? Oh my God! This is gonna be a bad question. Oh my God, Jay! Why did I ask this question? I'm ready. I'm ready for you. So. Uh... previous for place yeah. so they have uh, the strongest craft beer from Belgium is Bush okay so and it's 12 what percent percent ABV now remember wine is 10 11 percent some wines are 13 yeah. percent but to have a beer be 12 percent that is that's a party waiting to happen so so what happened Drink maybe to four bottles. What? How big were they? Just the three twenty ml, but huh? twelve percent. No. Okay. So, and after that, so I'm sitting to my manager and I talk shit in front of him. What did you say? <laughs> I say <laughs> stupid. Oh my god, really? So that crazy one? Oh my god. And then, do you remember anything? Have you ever Uh, actually, like no, but people. Tell me, like, tomorrow before, uh. yeah. <laughs> and then, did you get fired the next day? No. Oh, that's, that's good. Really nice and very really kind. Nice. Okay. Do you want to say anything to him right now if he's watching? Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your favorite beer right now? Beer now, my M. Hương Nhất Trên I will say Sapro. Okay. Or, uh, Stella to us. Stella's really good. Yeah. Stella, Stella's really good. Stella, if you're watching, I, I need a sponsorship. I love Stella. Uh, it is a commercial beer, but whenever it's hot, crack one of those. Phenomenal. Okay. And Bucky Cabinet, yeah. Can you put the fish over here? Oh my god. And then we're gonna show these two dishes. And ooh, one, two, three. We have a char siu fried rice, and char siu is a Chinese style pork. And uh, they made a fried rice out of it. And then they made a. The grilled cobia fish. Grilled cobia fish with, with, you, with salt, salt and pepper, calamasi, and pickled cabbage. Pickled yi. Bong su. Jellyfish? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Let's continue on with this. And uh, the. I just called her. Son, do you want some? Dad, Daddy's gonna give you some. Daddy's you, gonna you, feed me. You can, I can. And you know what? I mean, you're young. I, 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 you're born in 1995, right? Yeah. Yes. I lost my virginity in 1995, so had I not worn a condom, this would be my little son right, my little son right here. Mm. I think fried rice is something that I can eat all day long. It's so, it's savory, vegetables, pork, who wouldn't love it? And then cobia. Cobia is a really nice fish, locally caught in Vietnam. And they they grilled it with you, salt and pepper, simple chili maybe, simple grill. All right, next question. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. You've been given an elephant. Con người tặng con một con voi. You can't give it away or sell it. Con không bán được mà con không có đưa con không tặng ai nữa được. What would you do with the elephant? Why eat fish? Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe it will... What, you, take, you, you get home? Where do you put the no, elephant at? Take care of the elephant. Mm, and sorry. after that, I will open like a coffee shop for the visit the elephant. Mm. To get a benefit. That's smart. That's smart. Huh? How about what would I do with the elephant? I would... um. Eat it? No, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I, I, I would ask my wife. 
I, I would ask my wife first if I can take it home. She's gonna say no, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. All right, more questions. Are you ready? Here we go. Tell me your favorite movie. Movie? Without telling me your favorite movie. Empire. Yeah, I think you gotta describe your movie, and I gotta guess the movie without telling me the title of the name of it. Tomahawk time. Bring it. How much time do I have left in this video? I have 25 minutes left. I'm gonna try to eat this tomahawk in 25 minutes. All right, let me show you guys what this tomahawk looks like. And uh, when you guys come to Pastor Street Brewery, the one in D1, make sure you order this tomahawk because this thing is a beaut. And the sauce, pepper, pepper sauce, peppercorn sauce, roasted garlic, because that's really, 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 really good. And then uh, roasted cherry tomatoes because who doesn't like to do that? That is seriously a big steak. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish this steak in 25 minutes. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? But you can't tell me a you can't tell me a title. You have to you have to explain me the movie. I'm gonna try to guess it. All right, first bite. Oh my god, I'm gonna, what, what am I doing in my life right now? First so bite. I I can tell the name to you, right? No, you can't. You gotta talk. You gotta explain me the movie, and I gotta try to guess the movie. Oh, wow. that is good. That is quality, quality meat. Mm. I can do this. Twenty-five minutes. I can do this. Go. Hmm. <laughs> I do. I, I, I might know it. The taste of thyme, rosemary, butter, garlic, how they baste the tomahawk, they let it rest. All the the juices are back in the meat. Oh, that is a good piece of meat. Okay, I'm ready for the movie. So. Hope I can help my home. It's not no, a porno, is it? No, it's not porn. Okay, I had to ask my son, is that a porno? <laughs> And then where do you eat steak with chopsticks? Oh my god, I love it, Nam. Papa Dang Papa Dang Daddy's listening. Go ahead. So is the movie from Necklace? Okay. Well like the criminal movie. Okay. And it had a crazy guy from Canada. And he tried to kill the Hidden and upload a video on YouTube. I got it. Lion King. No. Goddamn. Next question. <laughs> okay. What's the worst thing you did as a kid? Cái gì mà con làm trong đời con tệ nhất trong đời nha. Y'all better start drinking that beer. The worst thing in my life. The worst thing you did as a kid. Cái gì cái gì con làm hồi hồi nhỏ mà tệ lắm luôn. This is my Vietnamese guys. For those who can understand it, I feel bad for you. But those who can't understand it, at least I'm doing the English, I'm doing the English translation at the same time. Can we count that time as a kid? Yeah. So the worst thing is sitting here with you. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I know this is the this, this is the, the the lowest point of your life right now, being on this show, Just kidding. sitting Just kidding. with me. <laughs> Mm. Don't get mad at me. Mm. No. What's the worst thing you can you did as a child? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. You are a chapter manager. What advice can you give others? that are young, that are wanting to also be a taproom manager. Responsibility. That's good. Damn. So continue on. Explain that. Like... Like what? <laughs> you have to find a restaurant just like your home. Okay. And take all responsibility you have to do. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know how 
not to explain, but have to take your responsibility. Right. When things go well, it's not about you. It's about the team. When things go wrong, yeah. it's not them. It's you. Yes. Right? So the responsibility of being a temper manager is, right, I need to look at this as my home. I got to make sure that scheduling is right. Yes. Ordering is right. Um, you want people to come into the restaurant and feel the love. And how do you get to do that? So say somebody is young, they're like, high school, maybe college, right? And they're like, you know what? One day I want to be uh, somebody who uh, runs a tap room. First and foremost, you got to love what you do. You got to love beer. Right? We're, we're, we're a craft beer uh, tap room. You have to love beer. If you don't love beer and you do it for the money, don't do it. Because there's no money in what we do. Then you got to sacrifice. Right? So yes. uh, vacations out yeah. the window. No holiday on holiday. Ho no holidays on holidays. Uh, a holiday on holiday means we're working. Uh, it means no weekends. Uh, it's sacrificing our time and who we are to, uh, to, to, to build something bigger than, than us, right? Um, I think the final one, the final advice I can give somebody is don't dream about how great life is being a temporary manager. Go to work. Work and ask questions and work harder than the guy next to you. Show up early. Ask somebody if you can if, if, if you can help them learn from what they're doing. And then at the end of the day, work your ass off. Right? I mean you've been with the company now for two years. You started in the original tap room, which we'll film on the next episode. And how many times are like, oh, J.I., can you work on a Saturday or a Sunday? And you're like, I just work seven days straight. You don't say no. Yeah. You say, all right, bring it. Or, J.I., can you take the trash out? You don't say, oh, it's not my job to take the trash out. You take the trash out, right? Be present, work hard, and, and things will come, right? I mean... No one is going to say, oh, uh, you worked so hard for 18 months, you're not going to get promoted. No one's going to say that. We as business owners want leaders. We want people to take responsibility for the business and we want them to grow. We, we as owners, our fulfillment is to see you achieve all the dreams that you ever want to achieve. And it's really important to us. Okay, I thought I was going to eat, eat the whole tomahawk. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It's so good though. I'm going to have one more bite. But it, it's, just, it's so succulent that there's no way possible one person could finish this. Although I heard, I heard that somebody did finish a whole tomahawk. Yes. In D3, right, Kwa? That's right. So watch it to the bathroom. Yeah. Is it whiskey time yet? Okay. Continue on. What do you like to eat at home? What do you like to eat at home? Instant noodle. <laughs> I have no time. Word? Right? Mm -hmm. Which one? How how how? No. Uh, mm. Let it. Into me. Instant noodle. Mm -hmm. It's a bad choice. And then do you ever add in like shrimp? or vegetables or anything in there or just uh instant noodle with sauces <laughs> sauces <laughs> yeah no god i god i if you ever see them making sausages you will stop eating sausages oh don't watch it don't google how to make sausages you will never eat sausages again but <laughs> how about instant noodle with a pasta street sauces Good. Now, passenger sausages are handmade. They're made with love, and they're made with real ingredients. Yes, that that one I don't mind. It's the one in the red, in the red, or the plastic, or the plastic red casing. And you cut, uh, uh. But no, passenger sausages. We had it on the first episode, 
Super good. Super delicious. And what do you eat like to eat at home? It's noodles, okay? Yeah. All right. Let me finish it. The ketchup juice. You better finish it. Okay. Mm. Is there somebody you admire in the world? Admire in the world? A lot. Sorry. Like my daddy. Yes. <laughs> who, who, who do you admire in this world? My honorable teacher, like the previous tavern manager here, yeah. in Kwa. The other here, Alex. Alex? And this girl. And, and oh, the girl? Yeah. Oh, who is she? Oh, yeah. Who is she? The type of director. Oh, well then. Thank you very much for sponsoring these shows. What are we drinking here? Yo. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is the Cyclo Style. Mm. with the chocolate. This is the award-winning yes. Cyclo Stout that you can find in America. You can find in other countries. But this was, this won best stout of the year, I think. Yeah, we just won a gold medal mm -hmm. at a stout in 2016. Wow. And can you describe this beer to the audience? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead. I'm ready, I'm ready for you. So that's why we need to drink uh, this beer in a smaller little class because 14 ABV. 14 ABV? 14, 14. Oh my god, I'm gonna yeah, get lit! Just, uh, just take a small sip slowly. I will, okay. Yeah. So what, what flavors, how, how would you describe this beer? Uh, at the first sip you can taste the like, full body of chocolate. Yes, you can taste the full just body like of chocolate. Just like a ton of coconut in your mouth. That's right. right. And it's not, it's bittersweet chocolate. There's a little bit of bitterness yeah, to it. Yeah, it's just like a, a dark chocolate yeah. brownie. Exactly what sweet. it is. Very, very, very good. Very good. Okay, what else? And we also do the combination with cinnamon and the vanilla bean in Mune. Oh, vanilla bean Mune. Yeah. So you're again using, using local ingredients here, yes. right? We local cinnamon, local, local vanilla, uh, local chocolate, right? This, yeah. is not import, this is not imported chocolate. This is it's local Maru. Maru chocolate. Maru chocolate. Yeah. Shout out to Maru. Shout out to, uh, to Vincent over there. Okay. Uh, what else? What, what else can we say about this 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 beer? It is a very medium to heavy body beer. No, 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 it's, not, it's not that high ABV level. It's yeah. the it coats the mouth. It coats the mouth. What are you doing here? How are you? Come on and say hello. Say hello, guys. This is Chef Logan. He was the old chef at Pastor Street Brewery, and soon him and I will be doing a series on. Crazy ass food in Vietnam. It's gonna be awful. Awful? Awful, it's a joke. <laughs> Bad joke. But you'll see, we'll see him soon. We'll see him soon, and we'll be doing uh, Vietnamese food. Some of the things that we're looking at is. We can, we can tell the audience, like, what's up? Yeah, uh, definitely looking for some tikkan. Tikkan, which yeah. is coagulated blood from a duck. We're gonna do duck tongue. We're gonna do. I found sheep vagina, but I don't know if. Logan's down to eat sheep vagina. I found it. I found it. I found it. Anyways, you'll see him soon on the show, and we're gonna finish up the show here. Um, okay, so the, the the beer is a little bit more. So a lager is very light. When you drink it, it's like so light on the palate. It's so light. It's so light in the weight of it. This is stouty. It's heavier. Yeah, but it's easy to drink. It yes. is. It is drink. Thirteen percent. 30% and I'm gonna get lit right now. Let's see how many minutes we have left. 11 minutes left, okay. Whiskey time. We're also joking about this beer, also uh, sleeping beer. Sleeping beer? Oh my God. And the crack of beer. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think this would be a great beer to have at the end of the night. I also think that if I'm gonna break up with somebody, which I'm not, but if I were to, it's bittersweet. It's sweet to the palate, but it has a lot of body to it. And that's great. Uh, we're going to finish off with some uh, Bowmore 15 whiskey because at the tap room on Leitan Bone in Japantown, because it's such a Japanese centric area, uh, they really focus on not only beer, not only great food, but also whiskey. Which is like every tap room that they have has a different look and feel. Right, so, uh, oh, shit. 
deliciousness. I know. You like whiskey? I do. You do? Can I ask you a question? Of course. Yes, uh, you can. Because at the end, yes, any question. Yes, yes, God. Yes, son. Because you order on me, so you got yeah, more. Yeah, yes, son. So, why Japanese people become upset with whiskey? Why do Japanese people come, become obsessed? Obsessed, obsessed with, whiskey. with whiskey. Okay, uh, that's a hard question to answer. Be, me being not Japanese, um, but if I could answer it, it would be this. Japanese drink sake on a daily basis. It is part of their everyday life. Japanese are also really into perfection. They want something that is, I mean, this is our level, this is their level. This is what they think this of, of normal being. And if you ever go to Japan, uh, Tokyo, Osaka, wherever, just look to see how well the city's built. Look to see how well uh, transportation moves. Fine whiskey really is beautiful in its own sense because it is perfect. You don't, I mean, you can find some really poor made whiskeys, but at this level, whether it's Bowmore, McAllen, uh, Talisker, these guys only put out the very best of the best. So the Japanese love that perfection in their life. When they drink a perfect whiskey, like Hibiki, like, uh, well, I, I just like Hibiki. Um, when they drink it, they can really think about the, the person who made the whiskey. What were they thinking? What do they want the customer to experience? What do they want the customer to feel, uh, to taste? And they really take that into account. And they're like, well, this person really thought out long term about their whiskey. So again, there are good whiskeys, there are bad whiskeys. But for the most part, the, the good whiskeys in the market, they're so complex and they're so perfect. Japanese love perfection. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. With that said, gone, son, I'm so happy to have you on the show. You were so scared to come on this show. When we first started, she was just freaking out. Like, what are they gonna do? What am I gonna do? I said, I told her, ain't nothing. This show ain't nothing. Ain't you nobody know gonna watch it. No more, don't worry about anything. Just have fun. No, I see a huge number of the people watch in the channel. That's because I'm the one who watches my show all the time. I keep watching it. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to you. Mm. Guys, when the borders open up, Cutter Pastor Street Brewery, not only because they're uh, a great brand and good friends of mine, but honestly, you're going to have a great time here. Your experience is going to be through the roof. Um, you know, this show is really about supporting small businesses. And even though Passage Street is, it has multiple locations and your beers are in supermarkets and convenience stores, they still run the business like a small business. I still see the CEO. I still see taproom managers. I still see brewers. I still see everybody around town. And that's what makes Passage Street so, uh, so, so special. Yes. So, what you guys can do, is like come here come here Kurt come here Kurt you gotta, you, you gotta come in and, and do the like do, do, do the like come on come on come on get, get in there get in there uh you'll see Kurt in one of the episodes coming up what we can do we, we, we can we can like the the, 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 the like the channel right like the channel we can subscribe to the channel you can share it with your friends he is so out of words right now. Usually and he's like so full times. of like <laughs> shit talking. But the one thing you guys can do is support small business. Go out there, go and get in the camera. Go out there, go and make, go, go to your local craft beer house, make friends, sit at the counter, talk to them. What do they like to, like to drink? Drink what they want to drink, but don't drink and drive. Okay? Don't drink and drive. Use Grab. Use Grab, yeah. but they're in America. Use oh, Lyft or Uber. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is this is uh, episode three of the Passion Street Brewing, Brewery, Brewing, 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 
uh, series. We have one more left at the original Tap House. I hope everybody's going to be there for a special guest appearance. Um, Who, who's that going to be? It's going to be your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll all come in and hang out together. Thank you so much for watching. We can't be here and do what we do without you guys. Thank you so much for your time and your patience and sitting there through 40 minutes of nothingness. Grab your whiskey, grab your beer. Ooh. Drink, drink, drink my sequel stout. Uh, yeah, sure. And bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh nice. my god, it's only 2 o'clock. Yeah, I just happen to be drinking here. I know. And we're out. <laughs> Don, can you hit that little red button right there? What? The little red button? The, yes, that's right. Beep. A little red up, up higher, up higher.